everybody and welcome to the 15th annual McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour presented by the Black and Positively Golden Movement. Your host, Lonnie Hunter, that's me. <laughs> so I want to thank you all so much for joining us tonight. We have been on a gospel music journey the last two weeks with gospel playlists from the Gulf Coast, the West Coast, and now we are ready to go into the Carolinas. Listen, if you've been following along, you already know one thing. We have heard one hit after another from one top-notch artist to the next. And tonight, we are going to hear from some amazing artists who hail from North and South Carolina. I'm telling you the truth, family. You don't want to miss these powerhouse vocalists tonight. Now, we are also here for a good cause, to give back to families supported by Ronald McDonald House Charities. More on that later in the show. But make sure you are using the hashtag Black and Positively Golden on all social media platforms to let us know how much you are enjoying tonight's show. Now, to kick off the show, let's hear a message from one of the Carolina's very own McDonald's owner operators. Good evening, Carolinas. My name is Deborah Holder, and I am the owner operator of four McDonald's restaurants in North Carolina. On behalf of all McDonald's restaurants and owner operators throughout North and South Carolina and Ronald McDonald's House Charities, I welcome you to an exciting evening ahead. We are so glad to celebrate Gospel Music Heritage Month with you this year as we kick off the 15th annual McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour. 
we are honored to recognize such talented gospel singers hailing from the Carolinas. Their talent is truly an inspiration. The Gospel Tour is just one example of our commitment to community. McDonald's operators like myself provide opportunities for educational advancement, leadership training, and paths for entrepreneurship. We are prayerful that our actions empower and strengthen communities across the country. McDonald's is elated to share this experience with you tonight. Without further ado, please enjoy this performance brought to you by the McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Campaign. Thank you. Gospel in the Carolinas uh, uh, is huge. Being from the Carolinas, gospel music has impacted my life in so many impeccable ways. Oh yeah, gospel music in the Carolinas, what that means to me, it, it goes deep. When I moved to the Carolinas, I immediately noticed the difference in music, in gospel music. One of the things about gospel music in the South is the heartbeat of the family. It's the heartbeat of the culture. As a child, you know, I didn't really understand it, but I always felt it. Put a more energetic feel to the music in the South. So many artists um, that came from that area impacted the nation. So then you had the Mighty Clouds of Joy. GMWA with Dr. James Cleveland, Vanessa Bell, Thomas Whitfield, so many. From Andre and Sandra Crouch to the Hawkins family, and then of course, Pastor Shirley Caesar is from North Carolina. Growing up listening to all of these different artists made me have a greater appreciation and understanding of how broad gospel music is and how wonderful it can be to be able to share it in your own authentic way. I, I just love the impact that it has on the families, that a lot of times when you don't know where to turn, they could always depend on the inspiration of gospel music. That's what gospel is, to the South. It means so much to me to say I'm a Carolina boy. I, I like to say it like this, I'm just a country boy from Greensboro, North Carolina, and I'm happy about it. Melvin Crispell III is a machine. Ooh, Melvin Crispell III. When I think of Melvin Crispell III, I have to go back to his father, the late, great Melvin Crispell, musician, songwriter. So to see his son, in this space, winning Sunday Best, being one of the greatest voices of this new generation. And then the voice, okay? I, I believe I've never heard anything like it. He can do anything vocally and it is coupled with the oil and the anointing. He has it all piled into one. Melvin Crispell III is a kid that used to play in the back of my church doing VIP. His parents were bringing me in and I would get him in trouble all the time. I love him dearly. Uh, just a phenomenal gift. For him to be so young, he's so wise in his choices, in his range. He's just, he's amazing. Uh, his versatility, his range, uh, his humility. Uh, very proud of that young man and super excited about what God has in store for him. I believe he is going to blow the roof off of gospel music.
Coding the future is the language I look by, building a better world. And I'm passing it on to kids like me. Look out, world. We got it from here. Check out McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Mentors on Instagram at We Are Golden. Blanche McAllister Dykes. I call her AKA Blanche. Blanche McAllister Dykes. I know we like to talk about talent and gift, but I can't get to the gift without the personality. She's always consistent, always loving. Me and Blanche go back way, way, way back. That's, we've done plays together, we've sung together, we've laughed together, we've cried together. She is a friend and a friend indeed. Blanche McAllister Dykes is an amazing singer. She's genuine. Uh, once you hear her, you, you will know that she believes what she sings. Her spirit is amazing, but her tone is absolutely incredible. Whenever you hear her sing, she just draws you in to whatever she's doing. And what an amazing gift. There's nothing more warm than a female tenor voice that can take you to the throne of grace, and that is Blanche. I watched her mature into just an amazing psalmist. I heard her sing recently, and 
the room was just so captivated by what she was doing and she brought such a presence with her. And I'm super uber excited about this opportunity for her. She served for so many years doing background, grinding, chasing her dream. She's always been ready, but it's almost like when I think of Blanche, I think about time and opportunity colliding. And it's the right time for her, and she's a sweetheart. I love her so much.
meditations of this heart be acceptable in my father's sight. Let the words I speak. words I speak cause you to reach for greater let the words that come out of my mouth build you up forever let the words I speak remind you of everything God's put inside of you I want to water you in my words I want to water you in my words I want to water you in my words use me for your glory oh God use my words oh you can use my words Touch somebody's life. Oh, touch their life. Hallelujah. Bishop Hezekiah would say, I need you. You need me. We are all a part. God's body, so stand with me and agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It is His will that every need be supplied. You are important to me, so let. the words that I speak touch somebody's life. This is a great one written by one that only Donald
it is always great to hear from one of the Carolinas' very own. Now tonight, we are serving up some incredible music, and since you've already been singing and dancing in your seats, or wherever you are, I'm sure you have already worked up an appetite. Our friends at your local McDonald's have your back. To the fans out there who have long deserved to be celebrated for years of McDonald's loyalty, the new My McDonald's Rewards is available nationwide at participating restaurants in the McDonald's app. That turns your passion into points, your fandom into freebies. For every dollar spent using the McDonald's app, you are pocketing 100 points to use towards free items, including breakfast or lunch classics, McCafe, or an afternoon snack. Place your order, rack up points, and use them for free McDonald's favorites during a future visit. Greetings, I'm Bishop Brian J. Pierce, Sr., lead pastor of Mount Zion Baptist Church of Greensboro, North Carolina. And I want to ask you an important question. How's your focus? I ask because so much has happened, from coping with COVID to searching for answers in the midst of so much social injustice. And if we're not careful, it will either break our focus or take us so far out of focus that we lose perspective. Proverbs 29, verse 18. King James Version says, where there is no vision, the people perish. This scripture reminds us how vital and valuable vision can be. It's a sneak preview of a coming attraction. It's like a trailer to a movie that hasn't come out yet. I see a church. I see a church so attractive, so refreshing, where people have found a relationship with God instead of religion. The church that I see cannot be contained in a building or behind four walls. This church is so committed to raising, training, and empowering a leadership generation of young people, entrepreneurs, educators, and church planners that will literally change the world. A church that is so moved with compassion that their primary focus is on the least, the left out, and the lonely. I am that church. You are that church. We are that church. I can still see it. Can you? Because whenever something is in focus, vision becomes clearer. And when your vision becomes clearer, your decisions will become easier. God bless. Now tonight isn't just about music. It's also about ministry. We've all been called to give of ourselves, our time, our talents, our treasure, to bless others. And throughout tonight's show, we're gonna give you an opportunity to help some families who rely on Ronald McDonald House charities and your donations to help them focus on what's most important to them, which is staying close to their sick children. Take a look. In 2016, we were hit in a head-on collision by a driver who fell asleep at the wheel. I was 25 weeks pregnant with Juliana here and my husband was driving. We were medevaced to a hospital. I had a hip contusion, had to have an emergency C-section, and Juliana was born 12 hours later. She weighed one pound, 11 ounces, and sustained a grade four brain bleed. It was really hard for us just not knowing how we were going to be able to stay close to our daughter for her recovery after we were released from the hospital. You never know when life tragedies or different things will knock on your door. The impact that they make when they're allowing these families to remain close and remain together while they're going through a really, really difficult time. When you have a child with special needs, having hospital visits, and with that does come surgery. So for us, it's been important to know that we can always depend on Ronald McDonald House charities. It's the one thing that we know that we have in our corner. To know that they are helping families who are dealing with sick children is very inspiring to me. Every bit of giving that goes toward that cause is a worthy investment. Isaac Karee, oh my God, that is like my uncle. He is amazing. Isaac Karee. When I think of Ike Nice, I think of clown. He's amazing talent. He is super hilarious. 
Isaac is phenomenal. Isaac in songs better than anybody I know, and I love him. I call him son. Funny. I mean, he is the life of the party. He brings light into every room. He is a friend, he is a brother, and this boy can just sing. Every time I see him perform, it just brings forth so much of his personality. We get to see different sides of him. He just makes you feel so so welcome and you know engaged into whatever's happening. He is the voice of North Carolina. When you think about North Carolina sound, you think about Isaac Curry. Uh, Kimberrell has this thing where she says, don't give me an alpha and omega run. He hits every note in between and he does it consistently. Ike is a winner. He is everything. Come on, I'm so happy to be a part of this McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour. If you're at home, make some noise. Come on, you know this song.
somebody but God make some noise. We've gone through so much in this season of pandemic. The world has been going crazy and now that it's seeming to get back to normal, I believe and I'll, I'll testify to say that God is worthy. He's worthy of all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise because had it not been for God on our side, where would we be? So I wanna raise this praise tonight. This song simply says, God, you're worthy.
praise it together. I will exalt you. Hallelujah. I will exalt you. I will exalt you. You are my God. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, raise that at home with me. Hallelujah. You're so worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Last time. sun to the setting of the same. You're worthy. Now, listen. I'm representing, representing the Carolinas, particularly North Carolina. Big shout out to Greensboro, North Carolina. What's up? And one thing I realized growing up as a child, that after you worship him, after God moves, you have to seal it with a praise. You just don't walk away. Because why? Because God inhabits the praises of his people. So, if you don't mind, I don't want to go to church too fast. But I feel like God is about to do something in here. Even at this McDonald's tour, he's moving. And I believe that, I, I realized this a long time ago, it's easy to give God praise before a storm. And it's, easy, it's even easier to give him praise after a storm. But how many people do I have that's willing to give God praise while you're still in the middle of some things? While you're in the middle of some trials, while you're in the middle of some situations, I dare somebody to say, I'm going to praise them in the middle. Somebody say, I'm going to praise them in the middle of my storm, in the middle of my trials, in the middle of my situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, because I'm telling you, I'll run through this place. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Put those hands together. Let's go.
We know the pandemic has impacted all of us in one way or another, but we won't let it get the best of us. We're gonna to look to music and our calling to support others to get through this. Visit rmhc.org slash ICGT2021 to donate to help families stay together while their sick children are being treated. Yeah? Yeah. Now, let's keep things going with our next artist from the Carolinas. Pastor John P. Key. Oh, uh, my uncle, John P. Key. Oh my goodness, Uncle John. That's Pops right there. Uh, he gave me my start. He opened the door 31 years ago for me to take this journey in gospel music. Relationships mean everything to me. Some people chase money, I chase relationships because uh, 31 years later, we still talk, we still text, we still hang out. John B. Key, a living legend. He is the foundation of most of our gospel Christendom. When I think about learning uh, the Bible and scripture, I learned it from John P. Key's songs. When we cleaned up on Saturday mornings, you're listening to John P. Key. <laughs> you know, when your parents wake you up, say, get up, it's time to make up the bed, they'll turn on John P. Key. One day he uh, asked me to come help out with a studio session for him at his church. Getting to see how he puts his, his hit material together, it completely blows my mind. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> He's just been such an amazing uh, influence on my life. He's a father to the fatherless, you know, so I, I love him so much. Listen, John P. Key, he is the voice. He is a father, he is a friend, he is a support. He supports everyone, and so I love John P. Key. Everybody knows it. in my country.
to be bright. Bright as the morning star. Very nearly. Spirit in the valley. Oh, yeah. Bright as the morning star. Spirit in the valley. Oh, no. Bright as the morning star. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no.
Was that last performance incredible or what? Tell us about it in the chat right now. Because we have heard from some incredible artists giving us incredible music tonight. But family, listen, I need you to hear me and hear me close. Tonight's concert is about more than just great music. It's also about giving back for a great cause. I remember visiting the Ronald McDonald House in Chicago and it left an impression on me that I still remember to this day. Seeing families that are just like yours and mine. These are all people who love their children and would do anything to see them get better. Some families come from hundreds of miles away to get medical treatment for their children and need a place to stay that won't break the bank. How about Ronald McDonald House is that haven for them? Many families don't pay a dime and get to stay there with hot meals and comfortable accommodations for however long the child is being treated. Now that is a blessing. Some of us will never experience firsthand what these families are going through, but we can show them our support by donating today. Family, if you have enjoyed the show tonight, when the concert ends, we need you to go to rmhc.org slash ICGT2021 to give your best gift. The website is also on your screen and in the video description for easy and secure giving. August 2017, I went in for an ultrasound appointment. Found out that Rory, my baby C, she wasn't growing at a good pace. So my sonographer doctor sent me on an emergency flight to Houston, Texas. We stayed for about a week at the hospital and then my insurance kind of capped. So that's what brought us to Ronald McDonald House Charities. It was super clean. It was really like a home away from home. They even provided you meals, wheelchairs, transportations to your doctor's appointments, back and forth to the hospital. And there were other families there, so it was very welcoming. It's such a blessing because it was um, a stressful time for us. I remember going some years ago with Anthony Brown and just seeing the, the faces of those children that were just so joy-filled. It was just, it was so encouraging, um, but reminded me of the faithfulness of God. Because of what Ronald McDonald House Charities is doing, these people who are in some adverse situations are still happy and they still have joy. They still are able to be together. It's a big weight to be lifted off of people's shoulders when you don't know where you're gonna stay. You need to be close to your child, but you can't afford weeks and weeks of hotel stays. You might lose your job. You might lose your job, yep. It really can help families that are in a bind. I think it's so important, especially in this season, for us to sow into Ronald McDonald House Charities. Imagine if you had a sick child on top of dealing with a season where we were all trying to figure out what was happening but Ronald McDonald House Charities was still there, still taking care of families during that season. I think if for no other reason, we need to make sure 
that they have the opportunity to sow into these families and minister to these families so we all can be prepared for what's next. Coding the future is the language I look by, building a better world. And I'm passing it on to kids like me. Look out, world. We got it from here. Check out McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Mentors on Instagram at We Are Golden. Tasha Cobbs Leonard, powerhouse. You know, we, we say stuff like the princess or the queen of gospel or praise and worship. She is all things praise and worship and power. The biggest streaming artist in the history of gospel music. She came on the scene and changed the entire trajectory of gospel music. She's just amazing. Tasha Cobbs Leonard is my family. She's my baby. She's my niece. I love her so much. She is an amazing person as well as an amazing talent. Tasha Cobbs Leonard, I mean, whenever you just hear her sing, there's nothing you can do but just sit and stare at her. I celebrate her, not just for her singing, but for all the other things that she's doing. She's a wife, she's a mother, she's a pastor. She's so many things. She's an entrepreneur. Incredible. Amazing. I'm excited about her and uh, she's amazing. Get ready. There's one thing that I love about um, this relationship with Jesus is we know his name. He's our keeper. He's our friend. He's our deliverer. He's our redeemer. We have so many names for him. I call him father. I call him my comfort. Um, what, what is it that you call him? I call him my provider. We know his name. But one of the things I love about this relationship is that he knows my name. And he calls me the head and not the tail. He calls me above only and not beneath. He calls me a lender and not a borrower. He knows my name. He calls me friend. Uh, so I love to sing this song before him. It says, you know my Over your life, so you know my name. You know. 
together, y'all. So you know my name. <laughs> and you call me friend, yeah. So you know my name. Yes, you know my name. You know my name. Let's hear the voices together. Say, oh, how you are with me. Oh, how you us he's been pulling things out of us and he's, he's been pouring into us and I believe that we just walked into a supernatural season in God somebody just say I just walked into a supernatural season in God and I believe that miracles are about to drop in my house oh I feel that real strong y'all I said I believe that miracles are about to drop in your house I wish somebody would just throw your name in the atmosphere so that your angels can find you, Tasha Cobbs Lena, come on, send my miracle this way. <laughs> There's a miracle with your name on it. Somebody throw your name in the atmosphere. There's a miracle in this room with my name on it. All right. There's a healing in this room and this healing. I need you to 
take your hand and do it like this and say, that's a breakthrough. It's in this room and it's got my name on it. So I'm going to put a praise on it. I'm just looking for some praises. You ought to put a praise on it. Lean on your neighbor and say, can you help me put a praise on it? Let's do it one more time. There's a miracle in this room with Tasha's name on it. Somebody throw your name out there. Throw your name out there. There's a healing in this room. Somebody needs healing and it's here for me. Let's do it one more time. Say, that's a breakthrough. It's in this room. So what? 
he's been a mighty, guess what? Just because you woke up this morning and you're still breathing, that's a miracle. You ought to raise up your voices and give God a praise right there. The chains are breaking right where you are. I said the chains are breaking right where you are. Because there's power only in one name, and his name is Jesus. One more time, say, Jesus, Jesus. Woo! Oh, Jesus, we need you. Oh, Jesus, we need you. We need you, we need you. Oh, Jesus, we need you, we need you. Let's go. There is power. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, yeah. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Let's say it together, there is power. There is power. Come on. In the name of Jesus. So there is power. There's an army rising up. 
way. There is power, power. Come on. Wonder work and power. It's in the blood of a lamb. There is power. Man, oh man, I don't know which artist I enjoyed the best, so if you do, it's all good, because it's a draw for me. You feel me? <laughs> I love the Carolina show, and if you did as much as I did, you better get ready, family, because the DMV is next week, and it is going to be off the chain. Be sure to tune in right here on BET's YouTube channel. Also follow us on Instagram at We Are Golden to keep up with the latest on the 15th annual McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour and the Black and Positively Golden Movement. Yeah, you can also do the hashtag thing, family. Use the hashtag Black and Positively Golden on all social media platforms to let us know how much you enjoy the show. Until next week, I'm your host, Lonnie Hunter. Hope you have a great week, and we'll talk to you in the DMV. Right, okay, good. Y'all make this hard. It's really hard to talk about yourself. There's other people saying that. <laughs> I should say a couple months ago because this is probably gonna be in September, right? Doesn't matter, they won't know. <laughs> they won't know. <laughs> Never heard of him. Isaac Karee. Isaac, Isaac from the Love Boat? Isaac in the Bible. I, I, don't, I don't know him, but if he on a McDonald's too, he gotta be pretty good, so. Uh, Good luck, little buddy. Mighty King be a fan, Lord. Listen, I'm going <laughs> Lord be the wind. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is that what he be doing? <laughs> oh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, All right. He do it good. You look like you having a little problem. Inspira what did I say? Inspirational? <laughs> and I went to college. Angelo McDonald's inspirational, inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. <clears throat> McDonald's inspiration celebration gospel tour. <laughs>